teacher yan. Hello, Ayan. good afternoon. Hello everyone. This is Master Coach Jasmine coming in live here in San Mateo Rizal. I'm a certified life coach from the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur. Welcome to Guru Connect, who of the hour episode for teachers and professionals from the academy. We are doing this video series as a service to our community during this time of physical isolation due to COVID-19. And with me, I'm with Coach Al. Coach Al? Hi. Hi good afternoon. I'm Coach Al. Yes, Coach Al. Ayan, nawala po si Coach Al. So, I'm with Coach Al, actually. So, um, he is also a ch change agent, uh, certified by the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs. So the, the Guru Connect or Who of the Hour is our initiative to connect with fellow professional uh, professionals from the education industry. We can we connect to know what is their present situation. How are they right now without being experienced present? Tama. Ayan. Okay, so uh, for the information of many Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs is based in Dallas, Texas, USA with local presence through our 24 hour, 24 hours, 7 days a week coaching hub at DCAP Coffee Republic located in PC Compound, Capitolio, Pasig City. We offer coaching on demand services any time of the day. Just connect through 0917-586-1661 or visit FB page, Life Coach Philippines. We also provide Life Coach certification classes for those interested to become a professional Life Coach like us. Coach Al, you're back. Can you introduce Coach Al, our who of the hour? After Coach Asmi. Yes, Coach Al. Ayan. Um, for we're just experiencing some technical difficulties sa area po ni ni Coach Al. Okay, so uh, we have here Teacher Yana from Asia. Tama po, Asia Academic School. And please tell us, Teacher Yana, more about you and your present situation. What are your experience with physical isolation? Okay, so good afternoon po. Um, I am Teacher Yana. So, from Zamboanga City. Ang masabi ko in our current situation right now here, here in Zamboanga City is same sa mga ibang, uh, like sa Manila or sa ibang country. Nasa home quarantine, naka-home naka quarantine po kami. But it is not, hindi naman siya totally na lockdown talaga. So, some of the stores open din, some of the markets, uh, pharmacies open siya. And also, there are some, yung problem kasi dito is sa virus na to, hindi lang, marami kasi na, especially live livelihood of the people. So, ito yeah. kaya, yun yung problema nila eh. Kaya, hindi natin masisisi yung iba kung bakit matigas yung ulo nila, kung sinabi, mm. home, stay home, so... Wala tayong, uh, hindi natin sila masisisik kung nasa labas pa rin sila. Kasi nga, yun yung trabaho nila. But at the same time, uh, marami naman po siguro uh, sumusunod sa mga utos ng ating uh, government. So yun yung importante, mm. eh, uh, utos ng government. And especially po, some of the barangays here nagbibigay ng kanila, like the uh, yung mga like, captain nila, inibigyan sila ng support just to um, support their needs po. So, yun yung nangyari dito sa Zamboanga. So far, alhamdulillah, hindi naman, hindi na dagdagan yung isang nag-positive nag dito. So far, okay. hindi siya nagdagan, alhamdulillah. Okay. And, yun po, in yung ginagawa namin as a teacher, sa mga student namin, paano kami nakakonek sa kanila, meron kami nagbibigyan naman sila ng activities na ginagawa nila sa bahay and at the same time kasi mahirap eh, mahirap yung mag-online class kasi hindi mo maturuan talaga yung bata kung ano yung gagawin, kung ganito-ganyan. So, 
may effort po kami upang ma makonek sa kanila just to give their uh, just to give them the the needs the learning na kailangan po nila and actually um as a grade six advisor so masakit sa akin na hindi nila mafeel kung malaman kami graduation so masakit para sa akin na hindi nila mafeel kung ano yung nafeel ng last wow. year yes yeah. po, yun yung mahirap sa akin eh kasi as a grade six advisor parang hindi man lang kami nakapagpaalam some of my students um hindi na diyan mag-aaral some of oh. my students sa ibang bansa na mag-aaral so parang masakit sa part ko na hindi man lang kami wala man ng proper goodbye dahil sa ganito And sana kung naagapan ng mag yung situation na ganito, siguro hindi siya ganito kalala. Yeah. Sana, yung mga tao, sana hindi siya naging ganito, hindi naging ganito yung situation. Hindi siya umabot na ganito yung nangyari. So parang... <coughs> Ang sakit na sa ito yung, yung may sudyante ko hanggang picture na lang, hanggang videos na lang yung matikita ko. So, yun po... Yeah. So, yeah, we feel po yun, Teacher Yana, no? Thank you for for being open and sharing that, ano? Kasi biglaan nga, ano? So, yung mga estudyante na na hindi nila mararanasan na umakyat ng stage to to receive that certificate and wear some to wear the toga, no? So, yun po yung nakakapagpabikat ng situation. Yes po, ma'am. And yung masakit kasi doon, yung iba kasi hindi na dito mag-aaral, so hindi mo na sila magkikita. So parang all, kulang-kulang ko yung, kulang yung all, more than eight months na pagsasama nyo, tapos bigla na lang isang araw. Yun pala yung day na pala yun, yung maging last day na makikita nyo sila. So parang nakakaano din sa feeling, nakakalungkot. Yes. Mm -mm. Ayan. So actually we are live right now Teacher Yana ano and your later you can share this video um kausapin mo po yung mga estudyante ninyo makakapanood po sila nito. Yes po uh, sa mga student ko hi uh, sana na sa mabuti kayong kalagayan right now I hope inshallah you makikita tayo soon sana Mag-iingat kayo lagi. Yan po, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, Teacher Yana. No, may nanonood po tayong, uh, uh, we have a live coach in Iloilo who's watching you right now. Sabi po ni Coach Vlad, sabi niya, we honor your heart, Teacher Yana. Yan. Coach Al, are you there? Can you hear us, Coach Al? Coach Al, so... Ayan, umiyak po si Coach Al, si, si Teacher Yana because she really miss her students. Ano, ilan po ang estudyante natin, Coach Yana? Ay, Teacher Yana. Kasi sa akin, ma'am, nag-handle ako ng um, boys and girls po. Actually, hindi ako advisor ng boys, pero at the same time, ako po yung nag-ano sa kanila. So, all in all po, I have 51 students, both boys and girls. Mm. Wow. Both boys and girls, so 51. So, and lahat po sila ay grade 6 grade 6 students. Yes po, ma'am. Yes. So, ayun nga, coach, ano, so medyo nalulung, uh, teacher, ano, na medyo nalulungkot ka po ngayon, di ba? So, how are you responding right now sa, sa given that situation that you really miss your students, nangihinayang ka po sa panahon, how is your heart responding? Um, so, ang ginagawa ko po right now is siguro Let us just pray and pray na sana, isha ka, lahat nito eh matatapos din kasi wala naman kung, wala tayong ibang magagawis. Hindi, follow the rules, just pray kasi we need to cooperate po talaga sa ganito situation. Tama po, ano. So, um, at least meron pa din po tayong magagawa. We are really not... Um, Helpless naman sa ngayon, ano. Um, yeah, we, yes, we are in quarantine, but we can pray and we can reach out. At, at least, meron pa din po tayong means of communication like social media. And that's why we also, for those who are just tuned in right now, ayan po, ano, that's why we have this uh, Guru Connect, who of the hour, because we would like to reach out 
for the people out there in the industry. Kaguta tulad po ngayon yung mga teachers so that you can also hear from their side how they are coping, what are they going through, and kamusta din po sa kanila pong lugar. And we would like to thank Coach Al. Effort po lahat po to ni Coach Al eh. Kaya lang po talagang he's struggling with the... Uh, marami din sana siya pong tanong kaya lang yun nga naghahanap siya ng, ng better spot para po sa signal coach al can you hear us yes po ayun na perfect na yung spot ayan nawala po ulit pero habang inaantay natin si coach al ito po sabi po ni ni coach vil uh, ha, uh, heart of a teacher you are awesome po ayan ayan Ayan. Ayan. May sinasabi po si Coach Al. Ayan. Antayin lang po natin siya. But... Ayun po. So, another greetings. Um, I'm waiting for the connection of Coach Al. Ayan po, si Coach Rizel from Pasig City, from the o OM of Operations Manager of Teacup Coffee Republic. Sabi niya, hello, Teacher Yana. Teacher Yana from Teacup Coffee Republic. Yes, ayan, binabasa na pala ni Coach Al. Coach Al, abang uh, maganda yung signal mo, do you have a question to Teacher Yana? Hindi tayo marinig po ni, ni Coach Al. Yun. Um, yun. Thank you, thank you Teacher Yana. Ano, si, my next question na probably ito din po yung itatanong sa inyo ni Coach, uh, ni Coach Al right now. Um, what is one lesson that you have learned from COVID-19? Bilang teacher po, masanay po tayong gumawa ng lesson plan, di po ba? Ano po ang lesson na natut matututunan po natin ngayon? So, ang lesson po na natuturan ko is the word discipline. Um, siguro, kailangan natin, natin madisiplina yung sarili natin paano huwag puro reklamo lang kasi yung reklamo walang magagawa yan. We just need to trust. Magtiwala lang tayo sa lahat. Magtiwala tayo na sumunod tayo sa kung ano yung pinagutos because for me kasi when pag disiplinadong tao ka, you can do, um, pwede mong magagawa mo talaga yung mga bagay na uh, inaasan sa'yo ng mga tao. And sana naman after nito, matutunan ng mga tao pa na disip, uh, yung word na discipline talaga. Kasi yun yung mahalaga dito eh. Kung hindi mo, hindi mo, hindi ka mag, hindi, wala kang disiplina sa sarili mo, you don't, you don't know how to follow rules. So, yun po, dapat siguro magkaisa tayo in this kind of situation kasi serious at well, this is not a joke. Okay, mm. so dapat magkaisa po tayo, one isang bansa tayo for this kind of situation, this kind of situation po. Yes, tama po. Ano. Ang ganda ng tanong ni Coach Ali, ano, so yung what is one lesson. Ta totoo po, ano, actually we can draw a lot of lesson eh. So tama po kayo, discipline, ano, importante na, na at this time at the season that really the word discipline talagang isa pang ibuhay natin gawin natin siyang alive sa ngayon po ano and yun uh, uh, kailangan na talagang magkaisa po tayo at this time so we have to be united in fighting this virus in fighting um itong nangyayari po sa atin ngayon teacher yana um What is the ano magandang bagay naman na nakikita mo? So yes, nakita po natin no no meron siyang uh, meron siyang malungkot na, na side. Pero sa inyo pong pananaw, meron po ba kayong nakikitang magandang bagay sa pangyayaring ito? Um, sa akin po nakita ko kung paano magkaisa yung mga special the government. So paano nila mm. yung situation na to? Although maraming maraming um, para sinasabi natin maraming nag-aagain sa kanila but still yung pasensya nila just to let the people follow their rules kung ano yung gusto nilang ipahiwatig in this kind of situation po. So nakikita ko dito kung gaano yung effort ng ng ating government kung gaano nila ginagawa ng paraan para lang 
uh, masolusyonan yung kailangan ng mga tao. Mm. So yun yung magandang magandang bagay na nakikita mo ngayon, yung pagkakakaisa ngayon ng mga ng gobyerno. Sa iyo po, Teacher Yana, ano pong magandang bagay na nangyari sa panahon na ito? Um, for me, so it's good for lang. Okay, so sa akin na magandang bagay na nangyari ngayon eh siguro nung so yung mga ano ko talaga hindi uh, expect na ganito yung feeling kumintas namin hindi ko expect na na na-realize ko kung ano gagano sila kahalaga sa akin wow. just say na uh, yung isang mga blessing is yung mga blessing nangyari sa buhay ko yung mga Mm. -mm. Ayo, ang ganda naman noon teacher Yana no. So, um yung realization ano, kung ilang taon na po ba kayong teacher, teacher Yana? Um mag 2 years pa lang po ako ma'am sa Asia. Yeah, mag 2 years pa lang kayong teacher no. And uh, dahil kasi everyday kayo magkakasama, 'di ba? Pero ngayon, uh, you've come to that realization na sa ganitong pangyayari na realize mo kung paano yung mga estudyante mo is really a blessing, 'di ba? Na talagang isa sila sa mga nagpapasaya nagpapasaya sa iyo ano so um, kaya talaga na bang yung heart mo no we really can feel your heart um teacher ya and i'm sure if your student will be watching this talagang ganun din pong sinasabi nila nami-miss ka na rin po namin teacher mamiana teacher ya na di ba nami ka na din nila are they messaging you po yes po ma'am mm ayun so um, ano pong ano po? Uh, ano po kayang support? Okay, if there's any support that you will need right now, Teacher Yana, ano po kaya yun? Support, like needs, um, siguro ma'am, as of now, yung kailangan talaga namin is um, basic needs, like mm -hmm. mga kailangan namin dito sa bahay, yun po talaga, basic needs. Hindi lang ako, kundi yung taong bayan, yun yung kailangan nila the basic needs para sa pamilya, ni pamilya nila. So, yun po. Mm -mm. Um, ang sitwasyon po ba dyan ngayon ay medyo mahirap na rin po ba ang, ang pagbili ng mga supplies? Ganun? Dito pa sa amin sa Sambang Kamam, ako kasi hindi na talaga ako nakakalabas pra, uh, nag nung nagsimpeng lockdown. So, nagstock kami ng food. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung nangyayari. Pero so far, um, sabi nila, pwede, uh, open pa naman. Like what I've said, open pa naman yung mga mar market natin. Namin okay. dito, like our grocery. Mm -hmm. Pero limited lang ang pwedeng makakalabas. Limited lang ang pwedeng pumunta. Limited lang. Limited. Nakalimited po lahat yung mga ginagawa dito. Mm -hmm. Ayun. Ah, uh Yes, so tama po yun ano. So yung basic needs. So we, uh, may nakakapanood po ngayon. Yes, um, I believe that your gover the government and your local government are doing something para talaga matugunan yung basic needs ng mga tao po dyan sa inyo pong lugar. Coach Al, can you hear us na po? Coach Al? Yan. Si Coach Al is not responding. Uh, I'm sure he's really uh, gustong-gusto ka po niya talagang kausapin. Uh, in fact, siya po talaga ang nag-orchestrate po nito uh, na, na ka kausapin po namin ng mga teachers also in in Zamboanga from Asia Academic School. Uh, teacher Yana, no? Um, kamusta po ang pakiramdam natin ngayon? Now that uh, may kausap po kayo ngayon, kamusta po? So, alhamdulillah, ma'am, um, nagiging okay na kasi at least at the same time, nasi-share ko po kung ano yung feelings namin dito, nasi-share ko kung ano yung nangyayari sa amin dito. Kaya, so far, alhamdulillah, na, uh, mabuti-buti po. Ayun. Kaya, thank, uh, thank you so much. Thank, uh, opo, oo, teacher Yana. Ano, kung meron pong teacher ngayon na ganyan din po ang pakiramdam niya, nalulungkot siya, at uh, nami-miss niya na yung students niya. Ano pong gusto niyo pong sabihin? How paano niyo po encourage yung teacher na yon na ganyan din po ang nararanasan? Ano pong sasabihin niyo sa kanya? 
Um, for me, so teacher na yun, kung yun man, um, learn to uh, maghanap siya ng taong makakausap niya, taong um, kung saan na mabibigyan din siya ng advice, kung ano yung gagawin niya, taong magpo-comfort sa kanya, sa kung ano yung nararamdaman niya right now. And oh. also, um, maghanap siya ng taong same yung feeling sa kanya para alam nila kung paano mag-connect sa isa't isa po. Yeah, tama taong, po. Mm-hmm. Um, taong makaka um, appreciate ng sasabihin niya, yung handang makinig sa kung ano man yung sasabihin niya. So yun po. Wow, wow. powerful message teacher Yana ano. And know that you are not alone. Uh, marami may uh, katulad po ni Coach Al. So you can si Coach Al po, he is a, a certified life coach, certified life um, internationally certified life coach from the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs. So anytime po you can you can reach out to Coach Al and Again, yung sabi ko nga po kanina, this is his initiative of helping the teachers right now who's undergoing that kind of feeling and emotion. So, hindi man natin, hindi po consistent yung connection ni Coach Al, ano, but we would like to thank Coach Al for his effort. Ayun po, ano. So, Teacher Yana, uh, salamat po sa mensahe ninyo, ano, at saka sa pagbibigay niyo po sa amin ng oras uh, at this time. And know that we are here for you. Coach Al is here for you. The Institute, Life Coach Philippines, Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs is here for you. And the world is is listening right now. Mamaya po, marami na pong manunood nitong replay. Ano? So they are listening to you right now. So uh, one word na pwedeng maipanganak ngayon po sa sitwasyon natin. Ano po yun? Isang salita. Um, siguro yung word na salamat. Um, salamat because siguro kung, pala, kung hindi nangyari situation na to hindi natin ma-realize kung ano yung halaga ng pagkakaisa. So, um, yun siguro talaga, ma'am. Siguro, ginawa yung question na to in a po as a may may focus eh. Kasi may mga tao talaga na yung minsan yung selfish na hindi marunong makipagkais. Ma- ma- um, kung paano yung word na pagkakaisa. So mm-hmm. siguro at thankful din tayo. And just pray na lang talaga. Pray and pray. E, yun yung nagawa natin sa panahon na sa situation na po. Yeah. Tama po. Ano. So salitang salamat. That's very, very, very powerful. So thank you, Teacher Yana. No? And um, yes, we are declaring a blessing of healing right now. We are declaring declaring na talagang magkaroon na po ng cure ang COVID-19 um, virus po na to and we are declaring peace ayan not only peace um, in the in the government or in the in, in our nation but also peace of mind peace sa heart and freedom and 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 healing po so yun po ang declaration po natin so ngayon po dahil marami na pong virus out there na kumakalat gusto po natin ngayon ay magpasabog ng love virus coach al Love, love, bam, boom. Ayan. So, magpapasabog po tayo ng... Uh, sinamahan po tayo ni Coach Al, ano, kahit na nandyan, nandyan lang po siya. So, ito po, inform niyo po yung kamay po ninyo into heart, Teacher Yana. Ayan. So, ito po yung love, bam. So, love, bam, boom. Ayan po yung papasabogin natin. So, ayan po, kausap. Pasabogin niyo po yung love, Bam, sa mga stu- students natin, students nyo po na manonood po dito mamaya sa replay. So, at the count of three, one, two, three, love, bam, boom. Yes, ayun. Thank you po, Teacher Yana. Thank you, Coach Al. Bye. Thank you so much.